permeability test methods. First, we prepared the cylinder core with a dimension around two inches in diameter and four inches in length. Both ends were trimmed and polished to ensure the parallelism. Then, we put the prepared sample into a vacuum oven to dry for 12 hours under the prescribed temperature of 120 degrees Celsius. We then measure the final dimensions of the dried sample. After this, we move to the sample installation. The cylinder core is sandwiched between top and bottom plates. We then make sure to use tape to stabilize the sample together. Then we cut the shrinkage tubing and put the sample into the heat shrink sleeve. We'll use the heat gun to allow the suit to properly shrink on the sample and cut off any excess pieces. For sealing purposes, we installed double hook clamps at each end outside the shrink sleeve. Then, we installed a circumferential LVDT on the circumferential chain and two vertical LVDTs on the support frame. These LVDTs can precisely capture the strains in both vertical and circumferential directions, and they are wired through the channel pins on the load base of our test system. Then we hook up the upstream and downstream gas lines through the ports left on the upper and lower plates. The design fluid injection system includes both upstream and downstream reservoirs along with pressure transducers and pumps. Both steady state and pulse decay methods can be used for permeability tests using our system. After the sample installation, we pulled down the triaxle load cell. By controlling the air pump, the confining oil is pumped in. Through computer control panel, we set up the in situ confining and axle stresses. The upstream and downstream fluid pressures are controlled by the external pump. In the pulse decay method, we need to maintain the constant upstream and downstream volumes and continuously monitor the pressure change with respect to time. Then, the permeability can be calculated by fitting the linear slope of natural logarithm of differential pressure versus time. In steady state method, we need to keep upstream pressure constant and downstream volume fixed. By calculating the differential pressure and flow rate in real time, permeability can be acquired through Darcy's Law. <laughs>